Hello everyone, welcome back to Talking History. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all keeping well. And uh, my name's Liz. I am not an historian, I'm just someone who is extremely passionate about history and I love to share all of that passion with you. So this week's video, I think we're gonna get all lovey-dovey and romantic, maybe. I would like to get to know the other woman in Henry II's life. Rosamond Clifford or Fair Rosamond and if you'd like to get to know her more then please do stay right where you are. Rosamond's story is shrouded in mystery and legends. She is the woman most associated with King Henry II after Eleanor of Aquitaine. She stole Henry away from his queen. But just who was she and just how much of her story is real and how much is fantasy? Rosamond was possibly, probably born around 1140. Her parents were Walter de Clifford and Margaret de Tosney. Walter was a lord on the Welsh marshes and there's nothing known of her childhood. She may have been educated at Godstow Abbey, although that's not for certain, nor is it fully known when she actually met King Henry. Rosamond's father had served Henry on campaign in Wales in the 1160s. Now some believe it was possible that's where they first met when Henry visited the Clifford's residence. Others think that their affair started around 1165 when Henry spent Christmas apart from his queen. In 1166, Eleanor was pregnant with their last child, John, and there was a story of Eleanor who was intent of having her lying in at the Royal Palace of Woodstock. But upon arriving at Woodstock, she found Rosamond in residence and Eleanor relocated to Oxford to give birth. Henry, though, he was never a faithful husband. He had several illegitimate children. His known, his other known mistresses were Rohese and Ida de Tosney, who was the mother of Henry's illegitimate son, William Longsby. If Henry's affair with Rosamond had begun in the 1160s, they did the most amazing job at keeping it secret until it was made public knowledge by Henry in 1174. Now, during the War Without Love rebellion, where Eleanor had sided with her sons and joined them in open rebellion, Henry crushed the rebellion and forgave his sons. But with Eleanor, he wasn't so lenient. Eleanor was placed under house arrest for the next 15 years and she would only be released when her favourite son Richard had ascended the throne in 1189. Now it was the same year that Eleanor's imprisonment began that Henry had made his relationship with Rosamond public knowledge. Rosamond recited at Woodstock and during the early 1170s it was extensively refurbished. It was said that King Henry had made her a house of wonderful workmanship. Now there was there was said to be a secret bower where Henry and Rosamond met and a well where Rosamond bathed. 
Henry and Rosamond's affair has come down through legend as a great love story. Although there's nothing of Rosamond's feelings, the chronicles of the time painted Rosamond as the fallen woman and she seduced Henry and Rosamond was blamed for Henry's infidelity. Of course she was. Remind you of another love story? Another Henry? Hmm. Shortly after Henry had made his relationship with Rosamond public knowledge, Rosamond ended their relationship in 1175 or 76. She withdrew herself to Godstow Abbey and she may have already been ill. And Rosamond died in 1176, aged around 36 years old. Henry had paid for a lavish tomb within the convent church where the nuns left floral tributes. Now, unfortunately, though, Rosamond wasn't allowed to rest in peace. In 1190, Bishop Hugh of Lincoln visited Godstow and he was horrified that Rosamond's tomb had a place of honour within the church. He ordered for her remains to be removed and the tomb was put in the nun's chapter house. Rosamond's relationship with Henry had probably lasted no more than 10 years and as little as three. Henry was constantly on the move, so she may have spent a small amount of time with him. It's possible that she discreetly travelled with him, although unlikely, as no one knew of her until Eleanor's rebellion and imprisonment. It was said that after her death, Henry had turned his attentions to Richard's fiance, the 16 year old Princess Alice. Through Rosamond's early death, it had inspired legends of revenge. Eleanor had been accused of stabbing Rosamond in her bath and even poisoning her. In one version, Rosamond was hidden in her secret bower, having a, um, a, a bath, but with the help of a silk thread, a jealous Eleanor found her and stabbed her while she bathed. Now, another version had the Queen force Rosamond to drink from a poisoned cup. Eleanor was a closely guarded prisoner. It was impossible for Eleanor to do such a thing but it has certainly made a good story. And that is all we know on Rosamond. She will forever remain a mystery. But there we are. Sometimes you, sometimes you really want that little time machine, don't you? Just so you can go back and see who they really were, see what they were actually like. And then sometimes you worry that you'll be disappointed because you paint such a big picture in your head of what they're like. <laughs> but there you are. And that's Rosamond's story. Only a short video for today. I thought I'd just squeeze one in for this week. And we'll be back next week. Thank you so most. Um, so mo? What's so mo? So, so much for watching and for joining. Please do keep liking and subscribing and also hit that little notification bell there because it lets you know every time I've uploaded a new video which I try to upload every single week so until next time please do look after yourselves do something nice for yourselves and I'll see you all next time take care bye